if you hear me say stripping out yards, no, it doesn't mean what you think it means. Good morning, internet friends, or rather, good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm doing all right. I'm tired. And I think mom and dad are home, because Riddler's barking a lot. Um, so, I worked. Got home. <clears throat> was lazy. I've gotten a shower, taken the dogs out. And now I'm about to work on yesterday's vlog. And also do some homework for biological statistics, so... Yay! Exciting. I also need to eat dinner. It's like I'm hungry, but I don't know what I want. So, yeah. That's how my evening's going. So. Anyway. So, I'm going to get my stuff worked on, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey, guys! There's Mr. Emerel, who keeps wanting to chew on towels. Emerel. Yeah, I'm looking at you. There's Mr. Riddler, and there's Miss Sassy Girl, of course, sleeping. So, I just had me a bit of a stressful evening. Um, so I was working on the vlog, and working on homework at the same time. Which, terrible idea, don't do that. Um, and then I got really frustrated with my homework. Because I was working with Excel, and there was a couple of things that my notes didn't tell me how to do. And I was like, how do you do these things? But then I finally got it. Again, I don't think I did well on my homework. Newsflash, I will never think I do well on my homework. That's just always it. It's also like with any schoolwork or tests, like, no matter what, I will always think I did horrible. But in the case of tests, a lot of times they were horrible. So, yeah, that, I didn't help myself at all. That just, that didn't help. Good job, Raven. Um, what else was I thinking of? Um, sorry that this vlog is shorter. I didn't mean for that to happen. I meant to vlog more when I got home, but when I got home, I was just exhausted and just laid out on the bed like, ah. Um, things at the zoo were a little bit hectic. Because they were working on rebuilding the chicken coop, which is always good. The chickens needed a bigger chicken coop. And we needed an easier way to get in and give them water and food. So, there you go. Win-win for everybody. Um, and then, of course, also stripping the camel yards, which, if you hear me say stripping out yards, no, it doesn't mean what you think it means. What it means is clearing out the old bedding and then putting down new bedding. Um... I did not deal with the ponies today because my lead keeper wants to be in there with me to observe Sunny's behavior because Sunny's being a little butt. Um, I don't know if I said it to you guys, but he's gotten to where he knows I have treats with me. But now he's getting to where once he accepts the treat after doing something good, he goes right to being a brat and will try to kick, which is really, really annoying. So... Hopefully, we will see. This is why the ponies are level fours. Now, I'll, the way this works is that there are four levels. There's level one up to level four. And each level has, like, who can handle them. Level one being that with some training, you can handle these guys up to level four, which are very, very specific. Then not everyone can handle them. So, for example, when I worked as a camp counselor... I worked with level one animals. I did encounters. So I, I worked with the ball python, bearded dragons, ferret. I was trained to also handle hedgehogs, chinchillas, rabbits, that kind of thing. Um, so those were level ones. Anybody could handle them technically. Well, that are trained to, obviously. Up to level four, which means not everybody can handle them. They need more, you need more training to handle them. Or something like snow leopards and cougars are up at that level. 
but the ponies are at that level. It's so sad how ponies can be at the same level as big cats. Because they're such jerks, especially Sonny. Not even volunteers could go in and handle him, so... Fun times! Um, I'd like to eventually get started on my cactus feeder, but... Maybe that can happen Saturday or Monday. We'll see. And tomorrow, for sure, I need to get new shoes. Because the sole of my boot is literally flapping off. I think my boots have given up on life. <laughs> um, but, yeah. All sorts of information about the zoo that you probably don't care about. Yeah. I am good at giving useless information. That's my life. So... Now, while waiting for yesterday's vlog to finally upload, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, what did you eat for dinner? Why? I don't know. Or if you haven't had dinner yet, what did you... what are you gonna have? Well, horrible me. <laughs> Managed to, like... I was hungry, and then I was like, oh, I don't know what I want to eat, so I'll just wait till later. Later happened, and I was like, everyone's going to sleep, so I've shoved down some cookies. I'm so healthy. So put your answers down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, doggies. I love you.